Are you hoping to add a Pomeranian into your family, but you're not sure how they'll react around children and other pets? Well, in this video, we're gonna take a deeper look to help you make your decision. Welcome back to the Fenrir Pomeranian Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload. So let's jump right into today's video. The Pomeranian is a loyal and loving small breed. They love to cuddle and spend time with their family. They're usually very good with children and they'll happily play with them. Although children should always be gentle when playing with a Pomeranian as they are a small breed and can be fragile. Children should know to stroke them gently and how to pick them up correctly too. It's important that children know the warning signs of a canine that wants to be left alone. They should not approach any dog that grumbles or growls or a dog that has bad teeth. A tail that is curled up beneath their undercarriage or a dog that has taken themselves under furniture like chairs or tables or into their crate. It is a good idea to crate train your Pomeranian as a crate will give your canine the area that's their own away from the hustle and bustle of the house. It's important when you decide to crate train your Pomeranian that your children know to leave them alone when they've decided to take themselves in there for some alone time. Children also need to understand that puppies will nibble at hands and feet, but this will soon stop when you redirect the puppy's attention away from the hands and feet to any chew toys. Another thing to bear in mind is that in the wild, dogs will play tug of war games to assert their dominance. It's not a good idea for children to play tug of war games with your Pomeranian. These types of games have the potential to hurt a small fragile breed like the Pomeranian. Tug of war games can also get your puppy overexcited, which can lead to bad and unwanted behaviours such as biting, humping and scratching. Pomeranians are a very lively breed. They'll love to be around you and your family throughout the day. However, every dog is different and some may be more playful than others. Children should be taught to never approach any dog whilst they're eating, drinking or sleeping. If a child does approach them whilst they're eating, drinking or sleeping, your Pomeranian may be startled and may naturally mouth whoever's approached them. Children should always approach any canines in a calm, slow and gentle manner. A few good ideas to help your Pomeranian bond with any children in the household is to help let them feed them and groom your Pomeranian. Let them hold the lead whilst on walks. Let them teach your Pomeranian easy commands like sit or paw and to Hey guys, really quick message. I just wanted to let you know, if you're not following us on Instagram already, we are doing tons of helpful, valuable content over there that I'm sure you'll love. We've got a couple of different pages I think you'll really enjoy. First is our Fenrir business account, where we do loads of stuff about training, some of our product services, and just what we get up to on a day-to-day -day basis, building the fastest growing canine company in the world. And maybe you'll be interested in checking out my personal Instagram that's at I am Will Atherton. Again, if you're interested, there'll be links in the description. Sorry for interrupting the video. I'll let you get straight back to it. Teach your children how to become good canine leaders. This ensures that your Pomeranian knows that everyone else in the family is in charge. When children are playing with your canine, they should do so in a calm yet fun atmosphere, as when children get overexcited, your Pomeranian will too. Children should always be watched when they're around any dogs, as children will often try and climb or sit on a dog's back or poke and prod them, and this can upset your Pomeranian and even hurt them. Pomeranians may be small, but they certainly have big personalities. They can sometimes initiate rough play with other dogs, especially ones bigger than them, as they tend to forget their size. Pomeranians don't have many issues with other pets, especially if you socialize them to as many different types of animals dog breeds that are a different range of ages and sexes as you can. This ensures that your Pomeranian knows how to treat puppies and senior dogs and other animals correctly. It's also essential that you introduce a Pomeranian to a variety of different animals during the first 16 weeks of their life. Animals like birds, cats, squirrels, sheep, cow and any other animals that are easy to find is great for socialisation. This should ensure that your Pomeranian will be calm and relaxed when they next come across them. If your canine's not grown up with other dogs or animals, you should introduce them to the new family pet outside of the home in a neutral environment. If you're planning on adding a new dog into your household, it's a good idea to take your Pomeranian with you when you select your new puppy, if you can. If you're introducing your new puppy to your Pomeranian on a lead, ensure you keep the lead slack so that no tension's felt through the lead, as this can make your Pomeranian anxious and tense. 
You should watch both dogs' body language and try to anticipate both dogs' reactions. Some negative body language to look out for includes teeth being on show, heckles raised, a rigid tail that's pointing up or curled underneath their undercarriage, and ears that are up or flat to the head. The body language you want to see includes a slight wagging of the tail or a relaxed tail, a relaxed mouth and ears, open eyes and a general relaxed stance. It's always advised that you don't leave your Pomeranian and any other pets alone unsupervised, especially pets that have just become a part of the family. The Pomeranian is a lively and lovable canine. Both children and pets can live harmoniously together if they've been properly socialised and trained, and children understand the boundaries that come with owning a dog. The Pomeranian is an ideal family companion, and they will fast become best friends with every member of the family. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Pomeranian videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Pomeranian Show.